So on this example, we're saying to evaluate, right? It's saying log to the 1 half equals 256. So what that exactly is saying, if I was going to rewrite this in exponential form, this is asking us 1 half raised to what power gives me 256? Logarithmic form, exponential form. Okay, We're trying to find what is the value of this. 1 half raised to what number gives you 256? Now, I'll tell you this automatically from the start. You're dealing with a fraction going to a whole number. So whenever you guys are looking at this, if I keep on raising 1 half multiplied by each other, it's going to remain a fraction, right? Yeah. 1 half squared is going to be 1 fourth, right? So I need to get this off to be a fraction. So does anybody know what I'll have to include as my exponent? Some kind of, different, some kind of special type of number. Yes? Close. But one thing you said, though, has to be very clear. It has to be negative, right? Because if I take, let's just do this, 1 half to the negative first power, that equals 2, right? 1 half to the negative second power equals 4. So 1 half raised to what power is going to give me 256? We now know it has to be negative. But what is it going to have to be? How big do we have to get? So you guys want to keep on doing them? So we have 2 to the first power equals 2. 2 squared equals 4. 2 cubed equals 8. 2 to the fourth equals 16. 2 to the fifth equals 32. 2 to the sixth equals 64. 2 to the seventh equals 128. And guess what? 2 to the eighth is going to be 256. But make sure, guys, it has to be to the negative 8 because 1 half raised to the eighth power equals 1 over 256. Right? So you got to make sure that you raise it to the negative power. So that's negative. So then that comes up top. Does that make sense? All right, we'll do a little practice after you guys get back from lunch on those types of problems.